Peo has no cooldowns. He's going in. If the dots fall off, he can sleep dots. Sleep dots. Oh, Will. Will's back off cooldown. Big Will. Oh, no. That might be it for Hydra. Yeah, he's got Peo has the damage to finish him out. Little uh, tuber coming out from Bobco. He's back up to 40% life, but look how much mana he has. Plus the name oh, coming out. Big shatter. Oh, it's going to be close. Drain here on the life. finish, there's a lift and a drain life. Fear being casted. If that lands, Finish it's it. all but over. Vanish in the clutch. Cheap shot. Oh, lands on this race. No way. And PS Hero. Oh, Damn it. Oh, my oh, gosh. gosh. Take him out. It's not over. What the uh, f***? How are they not dead? He's mana potting. He's got to get Moonfire up. Insect Swarm. He's got the dots rolling. Man, Luxia is kiting it out. There's the innervate. Innervate. He's getting oh. mana back. What happened? Luxia oh, fled oh, from the duel. Oh. Luxia fled you from idiot. the duel. Why would you flee? Why would you flee? You had it. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you guys. We're finally here. I'm here with Zaryu. Time. I'm here with Soda Poppin for the OTK Starforge Hardcore Montgara tournament. How do you guys feel, dude? Are you guys excited? Bro, I feel uh, like it's Christmas morning. I couldn't like sleep. I wake up and I'm like, I just can't wait to see these duels authentically just nerding out, man. I can't wait to see it. A um, lot of us been grinding WoW, so went to bed uh, at a... I tried to go to bed early. I couldn't, so I took a sleeping pill to <laughs> make sure I could sleep and be up in time bright and early for this. We are here. The sun is coming up. It is crazy, and I'm still on a sleeping pill, but hopefully it will wear off. The, the One of my favorite things about this entire tournament, though, is it's not about winning the duel necessarily. It's about not dying for a month. Yeah. getting Priebus yep. and showing up on day of alive because at the end of the day yep. it's still a hardcore tournament like we've yep. done uh, hardcore tournaments in the past of just like leveling challenges right like level to 20 and do wailing caverns or whatever like part of the tournament is not dying for a month right and that's that's not yeah. easy by any means yeah. so no, no I, I, absolutely i mean because and there's so many different ways to die which we've seen <laughs> I think who's played <laughs> hardcore by now has yeah. learned hopefully not the hard way but has learned there's so many ways to die there's only that, one uh, way to learn it man just don't think about man well it's not even that it's not that you don't think about it it's that your brain turns off i mean this is such a there's so much downtime and just relaxing you're on a griffin you're afk you come back and it's it's, it's boom everything ramps up so quickly mm -hmm. the heart gets running and then you make mistakes so I'm curious mm -hmm. to see how the nerves are for these. I mean, I guess these aren't going to be Montgara duels today, necessarily, are they? Just so, normal. And, these are normal yeah. duels. We don't want to kill people's characters before the finals tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, blood is shed. Lives will be yep. lost tomorrow. And I cannot wait. Today, we find out who is even worthy of stepping into the battlefield. Okay? Because, I mean, look, this is an open tournament. Anybody can join. So I'm excited uh, because today, I mean, dare I say I might actually be more excited about today than tomorrow. Today is kind of like watching college football over the NFL, right? Um, you have a lot of stupid bad players that manage to step in, and I cannot wait to see their mistakes. Uh, they're going to be going up against a lot of the big names, the big boys. There's probably a lot of sleeper agents out there that are super duper good, but we're going to have a lot of really shitty players that just said, you know what, I got nothing going on this month. Let me give it a whirl, and I cannot wait to point out mistakes. What I really like about this Swiss bracket, and it's it's one of the reasons we decided on normal duels and not Makaras, is because each player is actually going to have five duels. So, for example, if we did a normal kind of single E-limb or double E-limb style bracket, if first round Zico got paired into like snuts, it's like, okay, well, if one of them dropped the game, they are out. With this, guys... Each player will have five duels. They're going to duel five times today. You're going to get one point for each win. And then the top point uh, players of each class will be moving on to tomorrow for the Makara duel. So with this style bracket, we get to see really like the best players and they can really have five duels to show you that they are the best. Um, and yeah. the other thing is, no, this is undiscovered territory. It's very rare, um, especially in a game like Classic, where there isn't, a figured out meta 
if you told me we're doing a you know uh, basic dual tournament with you know generic dual rules, no health pots, etc., I can tell you what classes are supposed to win. I cannot tell you here. I have no yep. idea. Some classes are at such a disadvantage, though, that you know they're they're, they're they're screwed. But the best of each class will be walking away with money. So if you're playing the worst class, I, we don't know what it is yet. We'll f figure it out today, probably. Um, you're playing the worst class. You can still win if you're the best at the worst class. So if we yeah. did Makaraz now, it'd just be all fucked. We can't figure that kind of stuff out. So. Yeah. There's, Today there's, is there's qualifiers. A, there's a there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot that's gone into this. So uh, yeah, the the way that we're doing this tournament, we think this is the the best way. There's so much work that's been done, and I talked about this a little bit earlier, man. But uh, I mean, we we've done like peanuts, right? We've done basically nothing compared to the amount of uh, time and effort and and work that the staff, the volunteers, everybody behind the scenes. I mean. Tips, tips is basically coming out of retirement, you know, pulling back to the CDL days. I mean, you guys, you guys know if you're an old frog at this point, like you remember the old classic 2019 dual league. Uh, so it's been, there's been a lot of work that's gone into this from these guys. And, and I, I cannot stress enough, uh, how thankful we are for just, just how much, uh, time these guys have volunteered and how much time these guys have given up for it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, absolutely it's, it's gonna be great, man. Every single other dual tournament that we've ever done or we've participated in, there's like, it's it's just this like compendium of rules where it's like, you can't yeah. do this, you can't do that. You can't use this ability, well, you can't. And Well, and, to be fair, those rules are just like, there is a, what's the word, a decorum in dueling? Like you don't wanna use health yeah, potions in like, duels. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like unspoken, like unspoken yeah. rules, right? Yeah, exactly. and so those rules, we have a ton of rules, but it's like, it's not like we made those. That's just how WoW has been raised. Right. And we yeah. just throw him in saying, hey, that is banned for this tournament, too. Right. Right. But not but this it's one. also not like that's not how the game was designed. Right. People always talk about how like, oh, classic. Wow. is unbalanced. Right. You, you know, this this class sucks. That class can't do this. And then whenever you go and you sit down and you're like, hey, like, OK, well, you can't do that. It's like, well, bro, that's not how they didn't build the game under the pretense that you can't do this and you can't do that. So let's go. Let's let's. You know, prison rules, just rat tactics, the whole nine yards, let the kids play uh, to some extent, right? They're, they're, to a certain extent, because there's certain things that like you could be, you could literally just spam Petri's and stall out a duel for like 10 hours, right? Like yep. hypothetically, right? You could spam, you could, you could stall it out for a very long time. Um, like there's certain I, rules that we put in place that it's like, okay, this is too much, but we wanted to have this game be the most let the kids play the damn game. Let's play classic. Wow. Let's see what happens. There's never been a tournament like this before. Let's send it and just see how it goes. Cause like you said, Zoryu, you, you look back to the old tournaments and it's like, Oh, everybody talks about overpowered warlocks are this and that and warlocks keep winning. Right. But then what are all these rules that are like war warriors, for example, everybody says warrior sucks. Warriors get cucked so hard. Yeah, like, they're, right. they're gonna slam. They get cucked so so hard, but now they have like resto pots. They have you can you can fap, you can lip, you can. There, there's tons yep. of different things. Um, there's all the, all the things to basically drown out your weaknesses. And I wouldn't want it any other way in a Makara tournament, right? I agree. Because okay, if you're actually in game and you're actually Makaraing, there's no way you're holding back anything ever. It's like your character is deleted. You oh, might true. as well use every single thing in your inventory in your bags. And if someone goes like, "Oh, well, you shouldn't have used that," it's like it's a Makara, man. Like, of course uh, I'm gonna I, pot. They, they'll be telling you to not use that next time as a corpse. Uh, that's right. right. Okay, like so, you're dead, bro. Just to piggyback on that, the only kind of rules that we have in the rule book, and maybe we can actually take a look at the rules. Yeah, I would love to see. We do still have some rules. There are some rules. And one of those rules, as Fun pointed out, was the flask of petrification, right? We don't want to just have players um, flask of petri, which is a 60 second immunity, if you're not aware, into another one, into another one, because it's not a fun viewing experience. No. It would just be like nothing would happen. And we don't want people sitting in stealth for many, many minutes. But um, one of the, the first uh, general rule here is gear acquired in, acquired in raids is not allowed. And the reason we decided on that is because we wanted a, a little bit more of a fair playing field. Now, of course, yeah. if you have streamer benefits, you know, we're not denying that. But with no raid gear allowed it makes it so that players can get to 60 do dungeons and actually play if we had raids allowed it would be like who could corrupt the loot council to get into the raids and just get all the best epics within the within the first month and then someone would have like probably knack gear somehow and then just one shot everybody else yeah and we didn't bad. want that um world buffs are not going to be allowed um 
So that's going to be uh, the Dire Maul buff, Zanzas, Dark Moon Fair, all that kind of stuff. All class abilities are allowed. Uh, once we're in that dueling location, we're going to have competitors stay in that dueling location. So it's not like you can get summoned around the world and collect all these different items. Like you had a month to prepare, you bring what you can. Once you're in that location, you're in that location. I want to see more of these things. There's a, you can only have a certain amount of flasks. Yeah, so so we set it to three flasks in the back. So if you want to pre-pop a flask, you're allowed to. I think that was a great change. Um, one of the things that you can do with flasks is if you're low mana, you can pop a flask and it'll actually act as like a pseudo mana pot. So if you're zero mana and you pop like a mana flask, it'll actually give you like 1500 mana uh, or something like that, which is a fair it's amount. Spammable. And spammable with no cooldown. So a lot of players were worried like if you don't, cap flasks players that are have infinite gold somehow um are going to <laughs> continue to to spam flask and there's hp flasks right flask of titans and you can just keep flask of titans and keep regening hp so we're like okay let's let's cap this so that you can't just ha come in with a hundred flasks and just spam it and never die um so that was one of the rules uh the other, only other really two rules right there that engineering uh, yeah, repair bots are banned, and then the Gnomish Mind Control cap. The Gnomish Mind Control cap, I think, is an obvious one. If you mind control someone, you could actually, like, hire a hitman to come and kill them. That's, yeah. That would be third-partying. I've actually dealt with that in the last tournament that, that we ran, and uh, we yeah. do not want that happening. So, no Gnomish Mind Control cap for that reason. No repair bots, Flask of Petri. And besides that, you can well, I pretty much do whatever. Bots. That's it. Yeah. Because I think, I think some people might, might be like, wait, what, what's the deal with repair bots? We didn't want to have somebody do do a bag check, right? Sell yeah. sell stuff, do a bag check, and then go open up a repair bot and then like feed themselves. Wow. More. Yeah, so that's why we decided to ban repair bots. Who thought of that? Uh, I, they I thought know. of everything, bro. You everything. gotta you gotta <laughs> listen, yeah. you gotta be a rat to think like a rat. Holy yeah. crap. I gotta whoever did that, I would not trust them in the tournament because they'll they think of <laughs> slimy shit like that. Holy yeah. crap. So. With that being said. There were there will be some fuck ups and I cannot wait. There are going to be <laughs> we have admins. There will be rules that are broken. There will be things that go wrong. I guarantee it. It never doesn't. And someone is uh, someone's going to come in, have to put their foot down and say, hey, listen, this is the best decision we can make. This is what's happening. And we're moving forward. And when that happens, we've got admins that will come in. They'll lay down the law and they'll tell you what's up. And you just have to accept that because we got a tournament to keep going in. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it is. Just to clarify for the chat, the Makara finals are happening tomorrow. Today is the qualifiers for the Makara tournament. In the qualifiers, each player has five duels. The top point earners are moving to the Makara finals tomorrow. That'll be the top 64, I believe, competitors tomorrow in the Makaras. Today, we're doing duels for points. Each player, five duels, top pointers of each class move to tomorrow. What's up guys, it's S-Fan here, and I want to tell you guys about Starforge Systems, the best PCs in the universe. We have two different lines of computers, six computers total, and they all are priced at different points for different needs. You have the Horizon 2, which is a great entry computer, and you even have the Voyager Creator Elite, which has a 4090 and a 13900K. That's what I use. It's great for doing everything that you need for streaming, and not only do I use it, every other OTK member uses it as well. So we do shipping to all of the United States and to Canada, and there's a two-year warranty on your computers. Our prices are competitive, and it's backed by creators everywhere. So make sure to head on over to StarforgeSystems.com and get a new computer today. The best of each class will win money, all right? So that influences people to play every class so it's not just one through the whole thing or the top three, right? Um, in order to figure out the best of each class, we're going to have to have people with a win-loss ratio. In order to have that, you cannot die on your first duel. Uh, you just can't do it. So we're going to get a, an actual bracket going here, and tomorrow, people are going to start dying. What is, is something going on here? This is Payo versus Hydra. Oh. oh my gosh, I can't wait. And the duel is underway. The dual flag has been oh. dropped. Hydra is playing oh, Shadow. Oil Payo. of Immolation. Do you see it? Yeah. The oil of Immolation. He might get Payo out of stealth. Does oh, it work this is, like that? This is great. Hydra mounts up in Shadow form. Sap comes out. It breaks Pay him. Oh, it breaks him. Huge. Payo is going to go for a reself here, but he doesn't get the combo points like he wanted with the cheap shot. So Payo's opener in his mind is already thrown off. Go. Payo going for the resap here, opening up with that mechanical dragonling. Does 
Might have a few combo points here. Let's see the opener. Restealed one more time. No heartbreak uh, beat there. Vanish for the vanish. opener. Cheap shot comes out with two pets. And Hydra's probably pretty scared right now. Trinket into that full fear. Will have forsaken immediately. And Hydra's under pressure. See, he will have forsaken the fear. Um, but then Hydra is free to just throw every other bit of CC. He's still got his magic dust. He's getting all of his dispels. He is slowing this duel down. Peo is going to get controlled so hard here. Here comes the dots getting onto Peo. The damage is going to start coming in from Hydra, and he's just going to keep his distance. And now he's going to be able to fear him too. Grenade. Oh, Peo is just getting controlled forever. Very impressive kites here from Hydra, but look at Peo's health, 80%. Shadow Priest is 50% mana to Peo's health bar. If we're comparing mana to health here, I would say Peo might still be in a slight lead, although as I say that he's getting ticked down. That's the second blind preparation used. Blind. Looks like Peo is going to want to maybe bandage up here, eat up. Nice resell sap here coming out, but looks like it might be DR. I don't know if Peo knows that. Bandage is coming out, topping himself back off, but Hydra is back high on mana. Now, here's the big difference. Peo on his second opener is not going to have that, or Hydra on the second opener will not have that helmet to CC Peo, the goblin helmet. So Hydra might be in a world of hurt here. Cheap but, shot coming out into a full kidney. And, but the thing is, here he, he goes for the fear. He doesn't have will. He trinkets it, but now Hydra is free to, what the fuck, magic dust him, but I don't know if he's going for it. He's going for oh, he damage, but he's, he's getting rushed down with so much damage. He's got to get some control on Peo, I feel like. Here comes a tuber coming out, a little bit of extra health. Big eviscerate, clobbering through that exposed armor. He needs to get him CC'd. He goes for some heals. There's the helmet. Oh, man. Oh, he... Oh. Okay. There, there goes down. the helmet onto Peo, or onto Hydra. Peo's going to get some eating, some resets, some saps. Maybe you a little first aid just got to hope he doesn't get heartbeated here. Yeah. This and might be over. Bandage here. There it is. That's really dude, good bandage Peo value. Might this right here, dude. He might actually have this. I think Peo might be in a slight lead here. And something that's really impressive is he's just so tanky. I think right. it's those potions we were talking about. Peo's just not taking much damage. Yeah, Another reset cheap shot. Oh! There's a break into oh, a full fear. This dude. is the reset Hydra's looking for. There's the Shadow Word Pain, and Hydra has such great positioning. There's the Renew Max range with that Shadow Word Pain. Hydra's looking oh, to reset this gonna, out. But get healed up, dude. He brought oh, out a lip to break the stun. But the, Peo has no more CC breaks. Hydra, Hydra can reset this duel so many times with any bit of CC at this point and heal back up. And Peo has no cooldowns. He's going in. If the dots fall off, he can sleep dust. Sleep dust. Oh, Will. Will's back off Big cooldown. Will. Big Will. Oh no. Hydra could just he die. Needs he needs his fear back off CD. I don't know what the timer is on. He's going for the heals. He's trying to get him off. He gouges it because he has no kick. The next fear, the game is over if he gets it. But the kid. Oh, that might be it for Hydra. I think he's he got a wants the damage to finish him out. No, oh, it is cheap. Hydra goes oh! down. Wow. That was so close. Dude, that was sick, dude. Wow. What a duel. That what was a amazing. Duel. That was incredible, man. And dude, I, oh so at the God. beginning when that thing started, Hydra definitely had the upper hand for the first like maybe 30 seconds of that thing. And then Pale had such a, a, a he had a massive, massive reset coming in. And it, uh, it really, I, I thought that Hydra might have had it before that grenade landed. Uh, getting the full fear off, getting the heals in, got grenaded, came back in. Uh, unbelievable duel, man. That was that was I, hype. Unbelievable. The, Great job the, by both these guys. The the real thing coming in here is we don't get to see the cooldowns on our screen, but that Will of Forsaken coming back off CD for another fear break was it. Zico is going. Come on, production. Yeah, get us in there. Let's, let's go. go. We got to see go. it. And it looks like oh, let's we go. haven't missed much. It looks like the rogue nope. isn't opened yet. Uh, look, at it. Look, at, look at the bottom right. Look at the bottom right. Look at all his, his decisions. Dude, He's got dude. an arsenal. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yes. I love seeing oh. their perspective. Uh, this gear, though, from Zico is some of the best gear. I think it is the best gear you can get, at least from Zico's perspective. I don't think there's anything else he was still going for and needing as of uh, these last couple days. Look at this uh, yeah, he is Sage bad. Blade. 20 Spirit Enchant for the Long Duels. I love that. Book of the Dead summons a skeleton. Uh, we have that Storm Rager with a 1.3 speed Nature Resist Wand. Arena Grandmaster. Very difficult to get yeah. that without dying. The Tidal Charm. Well, check, check the rings. Oh my God, see, it, it, and uh, Zico knows what the duel is about. My stamina. man is wearing yeah. defense and stamina because he knows what his win condition is. Yeah. He is so, geared and prepped for this duel. 
I, I, I want to point this out because there's no like there's nothing like resilience oh. or like PvP power or anything like that in vanilla. If uh, if you get defense on gear in vanilla, each point of defense gives you 0.04 like parry, dodge, and uh, and block. Right, so. Uh, Defense I, effectively, and it also increase. It also a lot of people don't know this increases their chance to miss against you. Now you have to ha be able to do those things in the first place, but uh, uh, defense is actually a very good stat to, to mitigate. Well, here we go. He gets the sap Ooh. off. The alarm bot doesn't do what it needs. Sorry, you go ahead. This is your duel. You're you're the mage. Zico's trying to live the crazy burst that's about to come in here from Savix. Zico <gasps> knows that, has a lot of stamina. Heartbeat breaks, Frost Nova, Savix out of stealth. Gouge lands. Zico kiting with the Thorium Nade, still has the uh, Trinket Ooh. to stun Savix if he needs to. Sheep goes out, Trinket to break the Sheep. Looks like a Faps being used. Blind on the Sheep, really well played here from Savix. Savix doesn't want to waste too much precious time of that fap. Wants to get all over Zico and break that shield. Zico's still full life. I'd say it's a pretty fairly even duel right now. Cheap shot coming out just to build combo points. Savix is not going to break that yet. There it is. Ice block late. I think there's still a, um, a second blind here from Savix. Let's see if he uses it. Another cold snap coming out. Zico goes for the blink into the reset. Polymorph being casted and it lands. Looks like Savix is going to be sitting that one. And Zico's going to get the... That? Was that what that was? It looked like it was, but it didn't quite, the timing didn't yeah. quite work out. Restealth, the speed breaks early on the heartbeat. Restealth goes off. That's a massive blunder there from Zico. Oh, but he, gets but he does get him out of stealth. There's the Cone of Cold at land. Zico kiting out. Arena Grandmaster being used. A very close duel. Title Charm from Savix. I think Zico still has the Title Charm in return, and he does oh. use it. There's another Sheep reset. Nicely done there from Zico. Zico's going to go full range here. I think Savix is almost at a cooldown, so I think Zico has done it. I think that was kind of the onslaught there from Savix. Zico handling this very well. Counterspell being used to keep Savix in combat, and it pays off. There's the Charge Helmet there from Savix to get another gap break to Zico. Gouge coming out to build those combo points. Savix going for another restell. Some item swaps coming out on top of that. Savix does indeed go into stealth reopens up onto Zico Frost Nova coming out that's the last blind Zico bl blocks it professional plays here from Zico Savix on his last vanish as well if that nade lands it's over does it land it does not land Savix is going to have 60 seconds in stealth the alarm bot still up oh we coming out from Zico MLG plays there really really nicely done Kona Cold coming out Savix doesn't have anything left Zico's pretty much lived at this point going to max range Zico 80% life swapping items that even Evocate the full mana just to make sure he has enough to get the job done here. Another sheep landing. Frostbolts coming out. No need for the fireball. The no more vanishes. So it's really too much here. Nade coming out. It's not going to be a big deal. Zico is going to be able to kite this one out. Oh, Free another fast oh. off cooldown. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, another oh, fast he's... comes out and a sheep to reset the fat, but it's on DR. This is going to be a, a scary 40 seconds, 30 seconds for Zico. Uh, no he block doesn't... either. No There's block, no way to kite oh, this. Uh-oh. The speed! Oh, he's uh -oh. sprinting! He's going for it, he knows! And they're both got, sprinting. Oh, it's a sprint boots and the sprint boots. So well played from both players here. Zico's keeping Sav combat, so we can't get the restells with his rank 1 arcane explosions. Just kiting out the fast. There's only one second left, and that is it. Oh my gosh, the Kona cold on the restell. This is oh incredible to watch. Another Nova coming out, big shatter combo. There's a re ice reflector, well played, but man, well, Savix, it, he doesn't have much left. There's, there's no, there's no ice. Oh, he does get a restealth randomly. God. Nice rank one blizzard from Zico. Immediately blinking in aggressively there. Savix turns around on the blink. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to connect. There's another Frost Nova. Oh my God. Hellstone there's, back to full. There's, oh, the net. He's got no blink. He's got no blocks. He blinked in, he blinked in. Oh, he's gotta take this damage. He's getting clobbered. He's got no answers for it. He's oom! Zico's oom! Savix might have done oh, it! The hell Another it? reset, though, from Zico. And then the, the Thurbox Medicine Pouch to heal him up. There's a wand taking out the Dragonling first aid. Zico's going to play this one a little more careful this time. Oh, oh another restealth coming out. Frost no, Nova misses! He misses. He's got to wow. get mana. He's, he's drinking. Gonna he's going to get sapped. Okay, now it's mind game. Zico wants to drink, but Savix wants to sap him. He could drink. He could go for AoE. He's got to get... Savix has no tools left. Dude, Nothing is... left. He had. Oh, he gets him! Gouge. Bet he missed a whole lot of nothing. Big yeah. Nova. It is important to know. Uh, mages have pretty long cooldowns. Like we can rotate up to this next sprint or this next vanish potentially uh, before like the cold snap, for example, comes back up. So we'll see if in the super long game maybe the rogue can can rotate back through. Another net comes 
Oh, oh and it does land. There's a bad. fab. This is going to be scary. No more blocks. Blink, Blink yeah, coming out from Zico. 6% mana. Mana pot being used. Back up to 45%. Resist? resist on the poly. Yes. No. That's going to be scary. There's a counter spell, so we can't get the restealth. But if Zico fights this, he's going to take so much damage here. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. No line of sight. There's a Blink coming through. Savix can close the gap. A full kidney shot or cheap shot can land. Fire Blast to keep the combat. Fap's running low here. Have nade soon. He's going to get a restealth here. He's going to get... He's, there it is. Oh. Misses the Nova, oh, Savix damn. dodges it. Dude, Savix. These are two players at the top, at the absolute top of their respective classes, dude. These guys are unbelievable. They've been unbelievable players for years. Retail classic, the whole nine yards. Big, this is an big, unbelievable duel, man. Big first aid coming in, full HP. There's just, there's no cooldowns. It's just health bar versus health bar now. Trying Building to the combo points. Cap. Oh, it big does. eviscerate into the blind. And this is what I was talking about. The blind rotated up. I don't know if Zico has a block yet for this. Arcane bomb, the silence and the damage. If that doesn't miss. Okay, if he gets that arcane bomb on the sap, Zico's going to be silenced. Savix could burst him down. Let's see if he goes for that arcane bomb opener. There's the cheap shot. Ooh, I would have liked that arcane bomb. Looks like the hellstone comes out from Zico. Another hellstone Ooh, vanish vanishes back for the counterplay into the cheap shot. Savix is all over him. Kitty, oh, no out for this at all. Zico, no blink, no ice block. 50% life. So much damage coming through. There's the net as well. It doesn't backfire. Zico on the back foot. Nade coming out into the poly reset once again. Oh! Zico comes out on the polymorph. What is Zico going to do? There's the blink. Another nice big frostbite coming out into the half DR polymorph. Oh, the dark rune doesn't quite break the poly. The timing is really tricky on that one. Zico, 20% mana, 40% life. Savix about to break through this poly. Big frost bolts coming out. Very scary position for, for Zico just because there's no cooldowns and he's so low mana. Savix full life and the rogues are so tanky with this rule set. Zico's gonna get some drinks. He knows Savix is far away. He knows he can't get to him. He's trying to eat and drink while running away to get as much out of it as possible before Savix catches up with the sap. I mean, Zico is tanky. He ate a full kidney shot as a mage versus a rogue in full dark mantle gear. I yeah, mean, he just tanked time. the whole thing. He gets him out of stealth! Oh my gosh! That was a really Ooh. nice arcane explosion. The game sense coming in from the big Z. Really impressive. Frost Nova out, but Zico's still very low. Savix full life. Net comes out. Blink to respond. Counter spell so that Savix doesn't get that resell. Full poly once again. Hopefully we don't get that heartbeat. First aid here. Nice. Zico first aiding back to full. Just trying to slow down the duel. Heartbeat once again. And Savix getting the resell. Rank one arcane explosions coming out to try to find him. But it looks like Savix is not going to be fooled this time. I would love to see an arcane bomb burst Gets combo out again. coming out. A nice arcane again, explosion, dude. though. Unreal. And he's Big doing grenade. wild drink walking Bap. perfectly. That's so unbelievably impressive, man. Have that game sense. Big, big poly. Zico just trying to get control of this game. He needs to just get all his cooldowns. Like, the cooldowns are gone again. And Zico has his cooldowns back at this point. I think Zico's at a huge advantage. Oh, yeah, heartbeat. Zico. Zico's looking good. It's, it, the only thing I'm concerned about is Savix is so tanky. Yeah, you like can it, kill it's su it's super hard to kill the rogue. Like you you can you can get the rogue out of cooldowns, but the rogue will just walk at you for like three minutes, and it's just really hard hard to kill the rogue. I think for the rogue to kill the mage though, it's a similar story. It has to be some type of arcane bomb burst combo. But arcane bomb, I believe my share cooldown with Fap, so it's gonna be a hard one. No, the Nova comes out, Zico kites it out. Ice barrier, net to follow. That's not what Zico wants here. Full DR poly, Dark Rune once again. The timing on it must be just insanely tricky. It's on that like dark one rune. frame. Yeah, yeah, it's super, super tough. Counterspell once again to keep the rogue combat. In case the poly breaks, the counterspell will keep the rogue combat and the rogue will not be able to restealth. And it does break and that counterspell came in clutch there. Frostbolt's look, look, coming out. He's still 100% HP. Oh, there we go. The UI hadn't updated. Okay, big grenade, max rank bolt, doing 10% of his health. This might be it then. This might be it then. I mean, what is Savix going to do? He's trying to get a resell, but Zico knows this. He's not going to let him do it at this point. He's uh -uh. got him on the ropes. He's got to turn around. He's got to walk into him. Here comes the chicken. Here comes the mortar. I think it backfired. Or no, Savix mortared him. Block the, the blind. The blind. Really well played. Kona Cold coming out. Big shatter. This could be it here for Savix. It's a Frostbolt Fire Blast. Boom! 3% life. Arcane Explosion. That, that's Damn. it. Damn. What a duel, man. I mean, both of these guys are absolutely unbelievable players. I, Dude, I really thought Savix had a chance to come back there, man. I noticed that when he got blinded, typically the mage just ice blocks it. Right, Zaryu? Yep, that's you what you want to do. You pretty much trade it. But Zico knew that Savix had Fap running, and he said, you know what? 
I'm going to let you blind me and I'm going to sit the whole thing because that's 10 map. seconds of your fap. Yep. And and those kind of decisions in like an undiscovered territory like this is really what is going to set Zico and others apart. Absolutely. What an absolute pleasure to watch and cast that game. Right. That was just brilliant from both perspectives. Looks like here we have a mage mirror matchup. Uh, this is <laughs> this is one of those duels that can go a while. It's going to be like whatever mage goes aggressive first generally will lose. Because once you start going aggressive, the other mage will reset on you, evil and bandage up. And now you're on the back foot. Is that a pyroblast? Oh my gosh. One of the mages might be opting for fire and brew just getting getting chunked. Shad, well done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was just. <laughs> that's what it is. Dude, I mean, I, the, the duels so far have been absolutely Ooh. phenomenal. Oh, are we we're in Bobka oh, versus in oh, Dendario. Yeah, so Bobka has this mage on the run. The man is down to 20%. The mage is trying to stall this duel out. So uh, just a quick TLDR in the duel. Mage wants to stall it out. Rogue wants to rush him down. Bobka's sheet breaks and he's in hot pursuit. Maybe he gets a restealth here if the mage doesn't stop it. And he does. Bobka going into that restealth. Big AoEs coming out here from Dendario. There's the ice barrier to protect himself just a little bit, but this is not looking good for the mage. Here, Don't know if chance. I think it's over. Well, here's the thing in this matchup if the mage lives with just one life, but the rogue is out of vanishes and out of sprints and out of blinds, it's tough. Ooh. But the sapper comes out so much damage. Dendaria putting up that fire ward, oh. though. Very well done. Title charm into the sheep reset. So, yeah, the mage could bandage and evo back to full um, if he still has those cooldowns available. If not, just eating to full and kiting it out, making sure Bobka's out of cooldowns, waiting for the sprints, the vanishes, the blinds to be gone. And from there, the mage can win with one life. That's literally all it takes. Like, you just have to live enough to get that distance and get the reset. And Dario might have done it. Uh, it doesn't look super great for him, but I believe Frostbolt's coming out. Since that's not a fireball, maybe there's no more vanishes left. Looks like we have a, a small uh, lag oh, spike. We're back. Okay. Now. Nice, and we're just kiting it out. That mithril dragonling is huge. This is, is all used, are you? In case the uh, poly breaks. Yeah, that pet is going to start chunking the mage down. Oh, another poly. I, I do believe that might still be on the diminishing return. I don't know if that reset quite yet. Maybe a small blunder here from Dendario. Dendario mana gems back up to 50% life and really wants to slow this down. Bobka is probably... Oh, Frost Reflector there. It looks like it misses, though. The, the Frost Reflect came a bit late and the Frost Bolt did not reflect. So Bobka is not going to be happy with that one. Nice little Frostbite RNG here. Big Shatter from the Mage potentially coming out. Frost Bolt lands. Bobka is so tanky, though, with all these potions. 40% mana left for Dendario. Bobka is trying to find a way to close the gap, but he might just have to wait for another big cooldown to come back up. There's the grenade. This could be the opening Bobka's looking for, but it looks like he still won't be able to close the gap, and this is what we are talking about. The mage can turtle this out all day when the rogue is out of vanishes and sprints with just that rank one frost bolt, and the mage looks like he's doing just that, kiting flawlessly here and slowly working down Bobka's HP bar. I mean, is... I, I want you to take this away, Zarya. You? You've got this duel knocked down that better than either of us, so you, all you. All right, we have the rank one frost bolts coming from the mage, and this is really to bait the frostbite procs. Rank one frost bolt from the mage costs almost no mana, but Bobka gets another vanish off of cooldown, and this is what he was waiting for, just tanking all the damage, first aid coming through, and if Bobka gets a lot of damage in this opener, it could be lights out for Dendario. Full first aid coming out, Bobka's going back to full life here, and that's all the work, the hard work Dendario's put in to slowly wave, uh, to take him out, is just reset here. Mage blinks, Bobka's just shooting the gun at this point, and Dendario might not be tanky enough to outlast Bobka, which is normally not what we see here in this matchup. Mana's at 17% for the mage, and it's not very much, so we're going to have to go for a sheep reset, build some of that mana back, and then start from ground zero to take out Bobka's life slowly but surely. Once again, we want this rank one frost bolt to proc the frost bite. The frost bite is that ranged uh, stun 15% or uh, Nova to 15% chance to Nova the rogue. Once that Nova comes out, that's when you go for a max rank frost bolt to go for a shatter combo, and that's the strategy Dendario is looking for. Another nade comes out. Bobka's closing the gap just a little bit here. Uh, in this expansion, of course, no shadow step, no way to close the gap besides those vanishes or those sprints. So Bobka's just playing the waiting game, using potions on cooldown, <laughs> pretending he's a healer. Dude, Dendario's I'm... laughing. <laughs> Yeah, Bobka's just waiting on those cooldowns. Once he gets another Vanish or another Sprint or another Blind or another Nade, then that's when he's going to try to burst down the road. There's the Blind. Oh, so Dendario let Bobka get a little too close. Blind comes out in first aid. I must say, I think Bobka is, is pretty advantaged here. Dendario is playing well, but Bobka doesn't look like he's, uh, you know, backing down. He's keeping his life totals up pretty high here. Goes for the Sap on the Mage. The Sap Heartbeat breaks. Oh. Fab
print, but he gets the Nova first on the sap, and he wow. oh, he just gets the sheep that and reset the fap. That's dude. so unlucky for Bobka. I mean, there's so, a lot of RNG here with these like these sheep breaks and these heartbeats when it comes yeah. to the polys, the saps, and each of these guys is either spamming Nova or spamming stealth. Here it goes. There's a heartbeat on the poly. He doesn't get the stealth off. Did he CS it? Uh, I think he CS yes go off. Time. Okay. All right, well, I mean, how do you even wither down this health? Bobka got so unlucky there with that RNG, but at the same time, how do you kill this? With all of these resists and all of the, you just can't kill them. And he's this running. Is, this is brutal. I mean, Bobka's got no buttons left. He's got no cooldowns, but then, and Dardario is just sitting here trying to kill this raid bot. Look at that, that, it's a shatter and it didn't move his health. There's another Frostbolt. The guy's not even slow. Did he resto pot? I don't know. He's gonna just, he's trying to get some frost bolts, trying to get damage in, trying to keep him slow, keeping his distance. It's an actual raid boss just waddling that he cannot hurt. There's and the Nova. Yeah, Go let ahead. me be the first to say this is a different experience than we normally see here. Such great gear there on the Bobco with that Dark Mantle and the Devil Soar. But normally this looks different, right? Normally Bobco would just be getting owned here. And like you're saying, Soda, big Shatter combo comes out. He goes from like 90% to 80 and Bobka's just Wait. tanking it. It's just There's walking the towards him. Big cooldown oh. from Bobka. Frostbite frox the on the couch. <laughs> yeah. There's the cold blood. <laughs> And Dario's he, tanking it, but look at his mana. He's almost doomed. He's got nothing left. He needs to manage him. He needs to mana pot. He needs to do something because he cannot Uber. hurt this guy. Man, I mean, Bob Bobka's strategy. So tanky, man. Yeah, he can almost just win with nades and his bow. Oh, oh, does that hurt, Bobka dude. whipped their grenade. He was oh, resetting that grenade multiple times, too. Bobka's yeah, using going, like all of his items on cooldown for just max HPS and DPS from range. Like, like using two bursts on cooldown. Oh, frost resist, pot, and a vanish coming out. Oh, great. Oh, no. oh, Nade here from Dendario. I won't lie. Bobka's getting shit on. That is, dude, that is such a bad. Oh, that's so bad, dude. That's Dendario's so playing very well. I'm very impressed. Having said that, I would say Bobka might be in the lead here, to be honest. Look, what no is, mana. The guy is Den wanding. What's he, he can't even slow him anymore. He has no mana. Yeah, he's, that's he's what I'm trying saying. To kite. He needs his mana potion. He needs to manage him. He's kiting for it. He's trying to get some distance. There's the gouge. There's the first aid. Dendario has to have a cooldown here or he's dead. He yep. needs something. There it is. He gets something. I don't know what he drank, but he got mana back. The, the rogue is half HP. This is when he goes for the kill. Bobka has no vanishes. He's got a whole lot of fucking nothing. So this is when he needs to take that half HP piece of shit down. Yeah, we, we kind of need like an evocate from Dendario or something like that. Bobka's still half-life and Dendario is just tapped. Like Bobka's passive life regen with just a bandage and a pot every bandage every minute, pot every two minutes. You know, we have tubers. And, like his passive re like Bobka could almost just sit at range and use his gun and shoot down Dendario right. with nades. There's like another mana pot. there's another mana pot oh. though, you're right. There's a and resist on cone, he gets gouged because of it. There's okay, the kidney, he's trying to predict trying to the, blink. the blink. blink. Doesn't actually Ooh. blink. That was pretty smart. Oh, and there it is. Late blink. Frostbite. I love it. I mean, is that enough mana? Oh, there's, there's the evil. There's evil. Okay, Two ticks. A couple ticks. He just wants ticks. Oh, ice blocks it. Locks it. Oh, beautifully oh. played. So blocking oh, the blind there to stay aggressive is, is just beautiful play there from Dendario. He knows this matchup doing very well. There's another shatter combo with Frostbolt. This could be the damage Dendario has been waiting for. Little uh, tuber coming out from Bobka. He's back up to 40% life, but look how much mana he has. Plus the name oh, coming out. Big shatter. Bobka Big could shatter. go down. Oh, 4% oh, he does. Oh, Dendario oh finally <laughs> taking down the raid boss of Bobka. Damn, that was really well played. A battle of attrition, man. That was that was an insane duel, man. I, the the way that Dendario was able to go out and, and to be able to kite him and, and Bobka being able to rotate his heels and his different consumables with the tubers, with the health pots, bandages, everything. No. I mean, that was impressive. I mean, to, to be able to survive that to begin with. But man, that's sometimes some duels, some matchups will just go really long and you just wait for the next person to that, make a mistake. PS Hero, I think there's a handful of other really solid duels going on. And while we're jumping into that, just to clarify with these rounds, guys, we have that round one, and say you go like one and oh in that first round, that's great. When you move to round two, oh, here we are. We have PS Hero versus a Warlock. It's an SLSL Warlock. PS Hero looks like he's doing great, full life. Warlock is in that kidney shot, fear being casted, combo points being built up here. We have that second sacrifice available and it is used. Yones, though, on the back foot, fear trying to fake out, but he's not faking that kick. He does fit, finally fake the kick, but the gouge comes out instead. Arcane Bomb looks like it's gonna be channeled here, finally. We get to see a good Arcane resist. Bomb resist unfortunately uh nice big fear but he was coming just fear. out
Oh no, this Warlock's just getting yeah. clobbered. Kidney shot yeah. comes out. PS Hero looking like an absolute pro here in the situation. Yo, Lip. what are you going to do? Lip into the Howl of Terry. Range it. Oh, oh not nice. close range. That was so close. Try well, to. From Yones, go, he goes with the first aid reset into the fear. Now he's just got to make sure PS Hero doesn't get this re-stealth and make sure that uh, PS Hero doesn't get that full reset. Yones looking for a reset himself. Another Void Walker coming out. Well played. There's the Soul Link. That was huge. Yeah, he's got to get this kite out. Don't let him get dots. back. Oh, Ooh. no. That, I mean, big PS reset Hero, there. Just get, oh, like, I love that. I love the gouge on the Voidwalker. Get the get the first aid ticks off. You just yeah. got to get the first aid. There's the coil. He's going to get a fear here. PS Heroes, I don't know how many. He's got Will of Forsaken still. Uh, he really needs to wither this Warlock down because the longer it goes on, the more easy it is to get him off. And that's in the Warlock's favor. There's the fear. He's got no will for it. He's got no trinket. The Warlock is riding him down. PS Hero can't do any damage. I think he Hellstone. He's going for a grenade. Whiffed the hell out of it. Trying to get some dots up. Trying to get an immolate, but he doesn't want to cast it. He just wants to Ooh. run and take the free damage. PS Hero trying to throw a grenade oh, to close distance. He misses. He, double miss. Warlock life tapping. He threw in a wand. He's min maxing what he can. Trying to get a fear. Oh, PS Hero can't stop it. He fear. eats the fear. That might be it. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a huge, huge separation there. If PS Hero can't close, close this gap, there's nothing he can do. Kidney shot comes out on the pet. Shadow Bolt nah, not being quite casted. PS Hero, 30% life. Warlock pop, pop that shadow burn. More dots coming through. There's the full blind, Ooh. but the dots are still ticking. Pet that is Warlock in hot pet. pursuit. Yeah, PS Hero is really on the back foot. There's the evasion for the pet damage coming out, but how are you going to finish off this Warlock? Sacrifice still available. Fear of being fate casted. There's the sacrifice. Tons of dot damage coming in through. I think Jonas can maybe finish it off. The bandage only is going to be one tick yeah that corruption oh it's gonna be close drain here life. on the finish there's a lip and a drain life fear being casted if that lands Vanish it's it. all but over Vanish in the clutch cheap shot oh, lands on PS no and PS Hero so damage oh my you gosh got take him out it's not over what the a fuck second. how are they not dead oh that's it wait no oh. PS Hero <laughs> PS Hero won that who won no way I think PS Hero won he won Holy. The Dude, how were so they the not warlock, dead at the end? Dude, the, the warlock popped a flask, didn't he? Was that a flask or did we see something else whenever his health went up? Because the UI bugged out. I don't know. That was the closest duel of the day. That but was dude, insane. Someone, someone I mean, used a sapper at the end. Yes. The sapper couldn't kill you. If yeah. the sapper killed him, they're done. They're out of the whole turn. Yeah, that was so risky, dude. That a was sapper dude. made me freak out. I thought someone was dying permanently. Wow. That was what a great duel. insane, dude. And the fact that PS Hero won that without even being at his desk. We went and we switched to his POV at the end there. He wasn't Actually, trying. Dude, it was incredible. This guy wasn't even trying. Uh, oh, we got Bean. Oh, yeah, I can't go to the restroom on this one. Oh, I, I, I'll go after this. I'll go after this. This could be a grand finals game or like a semifinals game. Like these are some of the, the two favorites. I, I thought Snuts was going to win. As fun. You said Bean could win, right? This could literally yeah. be like a grand no, no, finals no, match here. S fan said he wants Bean to win. We I know want, Bean can't I, win. I, I want Bean to win. I do think Hunter's really strong in this tournament. Uh, but, I mean, Snuts is one of the top players in all of WoW. I mean, he's he's armed to the T. I mean, just look at his gear. I mean, he has, he has literally everything. So, people I mean, were... it's going to be a great duel, though. I, I do agree with you, Zarya. I think this is, a, this is a big, big matchup that we have coming up. I was going to say, a lot of people are talking to Snuts about different matchups. Apparently, Hunter is one of the ones he is a bit nervous about. He's like, oh, yeah, I can beat that. I can beat that. But he is a bit nervous into Hunter. Looks okay. like Bean is going to start off with some CC onto Snuts with the Gnomish uh, Goblin Helmet here and get distance onto Snuts. I wonder if Bean's going to opt in for a Mana Drain strategy or kind of just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the damage. Wow, looks like... Bean's pet is already dangerously low here from Snuts. It's like half HP from one curse. Looks like Snuts going for a pet kill before killing Bean. Going for the long game here. Viper Sting coming out. Tidal Charm oh. being used from Snuts. And the pet from Bean is almost dead already. Drain Life coming out. Pet is dead. Now Snuts has that Viper Sting. Let's see if he has elixirs to get that off. Bean on the back foot with those wing clips. Scatter Feign Death into the trap. Might be eaten by the pet, but no, almost. That would have been awesome. Pet in hot pursuit here for Bean. Bean taking a lot of pressure. Down to 30% man. I would say Snuts is in the lead so far. Bean's I mean, getting... there's another Viper. He's going to get a free tick because you can't cleanse it um, while you're frozen, but he goes, he cleanses it right before he gets another tick. Again, Be Bean's just trying to keep that distance. He's trying to line up a grenade here. Snuts is trying to dodge it. Let's see if he gets it. He does dodge well it. Health funnel on the pet. Very smart. That, now the pet's out of range. 
And this is not a Makara duel, it's a normal duel, so the, the range is a bit shorter. He's drain lifing the, uh, or Viper singing the pet's mana. Interesting. So Bean is going for the Viper Sing strat, but he's losing the mana battle. Snubs has such a mana advantage that I don't know if that's going to work for Bean. Bean using the medicine pouch, going to heal him up slowly, but surely Snuts playing the long game. Instantly uses the elixir. On the Viper Sting, really well played from Snuts. Health Funnel coming out. Bean, oh, I don't know how you're going to win this one, buddy. First aid coming out from Snuts. The pet is in hot pursuit. Looks like Bean's going to try to go for a full reset, maybe resummon the pet. But he's at the edge of the duel arena already. I think Snuts might still have that death coil. Snuts has so much in his back pocket. I don't know how Beans is going to do this. There's two dots coming out. Snuts is patient. He's a veteran. He does. He knows not to push in over aggressive. He doesn't need to. The dots are ticking him down. He knows the only way to lose this is getting over aggressive and pushing in. Just dotting him and letting the dots do the work is all Snuts needs to do here. Be Bean wants to get rid of this pet. He wants to feign uh, trap this warlock, Snuts, so he can just eat and drink over and over. But mm -hmm. Snuts knows this. He knows how important it is to keep that pet alive. And even if Bean does manage to kill it, Snuts will resummon it before he can get the scatter trap off. And so in this situation, I don't know what Bean can do. That is his win condition, but Snuts won't let it happen. Snuts still has the sacrifice pet if he needs, exactly. a Feldom sacrifice, another pet. Snuts has so many consumables being on the back foot, 20% life. I, I don't see how it's going to happen. Snuts is just such a mastermind when it comes to PvP, when it comes to dueling, being uh, just just kiting it out, doing what he can. But I think the, the Agony and the Immolate will eventually take him out. One more tick, Viper Sting through. Snuts, Insta Elixir of Poison Resist on the Viper Sting and takes out Bean, one of the yeah. biggest games we've seen yet today. Was that where, are we looking at Sony here? Oh, no, no, Sony, uh, uh okay. You're Sony right, versus Warlock. Here he goes. Oh, He's bucked up. He Charging swapped in. the gear and he was a little low from the stamina swap, but yeah, the healing from the diamond flash set will probably more than make up for that. Dots ticking so Sony good. down. Sony's connecting here. Big kick lands onto Madnox. There's a potion being used. Sony nice. kills the pet in one oh, slap. Sorry. So much damage coming out here yes, from Sony. Amazing. There's a big God, mortal strike dude. coming out. So Look at the damage damn. just chunking down the warlock. Dude. To Voidwalker with the Feldom. <laughs> he can sacrifice it, but what is that going to do? He's got to sacrifice before the execute comes through. Mad Knox, you got to do it. Hellstone into the mortal strike, though, so it's not going to be that big of a heal. Oh, Sony's all over him. He's immune yeah, to yeah, fear for the time sliver. being as well. There's the intercept. Three seconds done coming out. Mad Knox finally goes for that. Uh, stop there. Full fear coming out. Arcane Bomb canceled. Well well played there for Madnox on the reset. He's got to get another pet. Sony, 100% life. Absolute beast. Absolute tank of a player here. Going to battle stands to get that mounting charge up. off. Mounting up? There yep. it is. Yes. There we go. There's a mount off. Another Voidwalker. So Madnox will be able to live for a little bit. But man, Sony's damage is unrelenting. Now they're going Epic. pretty max range here. Epic mount too to point out. Jesus. There's the helmet, yeah. but there's the Berserker rage. Dude, he's, Ooh, just, he's just sitting oh, over 20% the yeah. whole time. There's the execute. He's not dead yet. Is he dead? Oh, he's, yeah, I think he's dead. Now. Ticks. So, wow, Warriors, <laughs> Warriors might be kind of the dark horse in here. Warriors traditionally in dueling tournaments don't do very well. But traditionally, faps are banned and a lot of these items are banned. Sony just crushed that Warlock. Yeah. And uh, someone was talking to Snuts about what he's the most afraid of, and he said Warrior. You, you have to play the meta of the tournament, right? Play more. Oh, PS Hero. Hold on, PS Hero. Yeah. Okay. Is this Rogue versus Druid? Oh, I love this. Okay, the Druid. The dru His name is weird. We can't get it on the UI, which is uh, annoying, but he's got to get away. He's got to get CC, but PS Hero is going to have so many root breaks that it's not even worth going for. It's better to play the game around Sprint and just try and outrun the rogue. He's not doing it though. He's he's out of form. He's gouged. He's going to be a big kidney. He's going to have to trinket this or he's screwed or blind as well. He's just going to keep resetting and you can't abolish it when you're gouged. Fairy fire is falling off. That's a misplay. You got to spam it. It, it lasts like 50 seconds, but there's so much CC from the rogue. It's a re-fairy uh, right away. That's get, nice. Okay. PS hero messes up, doesn't get the stealth off. There's the bash landing. He gets a big res or a bash there into a root. He's going to have another break for Again. it, though. You can't be going for roots. There's no point. He has a break for every single one. He needs to play around the sprint. I don't know if he used his medicine pouch, but this he has to just get away from the rogue. Oh, PS Hero is so tanky, man. Like, even if he does get away for a bit, PS Hero is just topped off. He, he abolishes gonna... the blind. He abolishes blind there, but PS Hero coming in with a kidney, knowing that it's oh. about to break. There's the free action potion. He's running away. There's the root. PS Hero actually has no breaks for it now. I guess we take that. He also has no sprints. Now, this is the point of the duel where I feel like the Druid can win, but I don't know if the Druid can do enough damage with mana. You saw the issue with mages. 
As a druid, it's even harder. With all of these arcane absorptions, these restoration pods, oh. there's a good gap closer. Um, he got a re fairy fire, so he doesn't get a re stealth. That was really good by Alexia, playing really well here. And just to clarify, this is the druid build that you would probably run, Soda. Do like if, if an... I think so, yes. Yeah, this is what Seems I would like want to run. Right, so it's um, like a war of attrition. You're trying to kite it out, moonfire, insect swarm, and and just outlast. He, he bear forms the cheap, goes for the kidney. He's still in bear form. It's good. He's reducing all this damage. PS heroes just dumping stuff into him. But Luxio, there's another bash landing on PS, PS hero. There's the dragon. There's the root. It resists which is awful. Oh, we're about to get a UI update here. Massive nice. copy paste coming in from the app, from the mods. Copy paste. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we go. This druid is oom as fuck. Like I said, PS Hero's full mana. It's gonna be so hard to kill this guy. Uh, even though he's got him in this spot, a druid usually wins here. But with this, there's the helmet. Maybe he can innervate, maybe he can drink. He needs full mana to kill this guy and the rogue needs no cooldowns. Seems very Eight similar percent. to the rogue versus mage. It's like it's it's it the is. mana bar versus the health bar. And if you don't have enough mana to kill the rogue, no matter how well you're kiting, if you don't have the, if you don't have the damage to kill him, he's just gonna keep running at you forever. Yeah. And then the cooldowns will rotate back up. There'll be another sprint, another blind, yeah. another vanish. Especially in this tournament too, with all the different consumes that they can oh. use. I mean, we've seen how tanky the rogues are. Okay, this druid is playing feral charge. He's actually pretty deep into feral. I would not have played that. I'd get deeper into balance for better mana. Um, and more damage. It's really good for survivability, but his mana is clearly gonna start lacking here. He needs to re-fairy. He could get gouged into a Vanish re-stealth or whatever. He needs to re-fairy, get that back up. It's falling off. It resisted it once, nice. Yeah, these uh, magic resist potions and whatnot just screw over druids so hard. Fap, free action potion, PS Hero sticking all over Luxia here. Magic does instantly oh, will oh. it forsaken from P PS Hero. Kite's coming out from Luxia. The Rium Nade lands. Gap is closed once again for PS Hero. That's the nature swiftness and us, I believe, to top Luxia back off. PS Hero is finally getting a little bit low, 50% life. Just thorns and damage finally doing some work here. Luxia going to the full gouge. Gouge breaks from the ruptured dot. Full kidney coming out. PS Hero connecting more and more damage. This is this is getting pretty close. Mana from Luxia looking good, but you have to be able to gain distance to you. Oh no, it's only 19%. Big net. Luxia has no net. outs. Huge net. Okay, Luxia needs to get some mana back. He cannot take out all of this HP, but that's a good fairy. He can just drink here. Probably he could. Al he also here, could yeah. just cast a root. PS Hero is eating too. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think Luxia I has. Did he, got a tick? Did he? Did he get a tick? I don't Doesn't know. Doesn't look like it. There's a feral yeah, charge. Luxia. Luxia is completely oom. He is opting to go in with bear form and kill him here. This is it. He's got no mana left. Maybe he has mana pots, but if he's going, he, his last bit of mana he used on bear. He's just sitting in bear. He bash. He's mauling. He's trying to just auto melee attack this guy down. He has no fairy fire in feral. And fairy oh, fire blind. is going to fall off here. So it's going to blind. Yeah. Restealth, eat, drink, bandage, whatever he wants to do. That was good awareness from PS Hero. Like the fairy fire was falling and that's when he sent the blind so we can get off that vanish. Hopefully he can get the vanish off after this kidney. See if it'll Versus. happen. Luxia is kind of all in, man. His mana is so low. He's going to have to get out of range to be able to top himself back off. PS Hero doing a great job with the poison kites. Not sure if we have those elixirs here stocked up for Luxia to get rid of that crippling. You can't, you can't use it in bear form. Okay. It shifts you out and it costs 500 to go back in. He cannot Oof. spin the mana. True. But he's also his NS is probably going to come off cooldown. He has buttons suppressed. There we go. He drinks some mana potions. His health is regen. He cannot get hit out of bear form. If he does, he's dead. He gets the rejuve running. He's getting hit. He needs to either get distance Swift or man. get in bear. He's it back in bear form. There's the feral charge. There's the free action the potion from PS Hero. He's going to try and run him down. He's got to travel for him. Mm. Keep distance. Just outrun him. He's got no movement. He's mana potting. He's got to get Moonfire up. Insects warm. He's got the dots rolling. He's got the range it. of running. Is that a swift mend? Yeah, swift mend, yeah. There it is. What an interesting deep, he is deep feral, deep resto. Hellstone from a warlock, nice. I mean, he, that fairy is falling off again though, he's, and he can't do it while yeah, bear. He should have done a fairy fire, yeah. He you kind of can't switch forms either. So yeah, you just kind of screwed there, he's stuck. Yeah, Luxia is deep resto, he has swift Horse mend. stomp. There's a root. Roots, fairy fire, back up. No improved sprint. He's actually getting CC on this guy, which I, I mean, the duel lasts so long. I guess you will eventually. You gotta drink. Can go for you a drink eat. there. Yeah, I wonder what the timer is on Innervate. Cause I mean, man, if Luxia can get some mana, he'll be able to finish him off. It seems like there's another insect swarm at Resist, Moonfire. Man, Luxia is kiting it out. 
if he gets Innervate and you drink at the same time, it basically gives you full mana instantly. Right, um, yeah. And that's what he really needs to try and go for here. He's trying to get some bear four damage in, which... This looks great. This looks great for Luxia. Yeah, his, his yep. dash lasted so, so he, short. he has no mana for bear form. He's got no mana for bear form. He is going for the kill. He's he is staffing him. Ready. He's in. He's dropping whatever he has. Miss, I think. There's the innervate. Innervate. He's getting oh. mana back. What happened? What? The duel is no, over. Timed out. Did it time out there? You're kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, oh Luxia oh, fled oh, from the duel. Oh. Luxia fled you from idiot. the duel. He had him. PS Hero is dead right there. Why would you flee? Why would you flee? That is, that is part of the tournament. You have to have the wherewithal of knowing, hey, that thing is popping up in the middle of your screen. No, this druid is good enough. He should have the awareness of what's going on. Why would you flee? Represent, motherfucker. Why would you flee? Oh, no. You had it. <laughs> Oh my god. He played annoying. he played extremely well. This is an S tier druid. He knows what's going on. I he's honestly selling me on his spec too. Um seems like a really good spec versus rogues. With that swift mend and that sustain. It's basically it's flag carry spec with a lot of intellect. I mean, what a disappointment. Yeah, I um man, I, I, the thing is with this with this tournament like I was saying earlier is if you're competing, if you're a participant, you have to be paying attention to, to where the duel starts, where you're kiting to, something pops up on your screen. It's annoying. Sometimes things happen and, you know, you, you get tunnel vision, but it's like it's, it's all part of the game. Like, it's just something you have to do. All right. We've got one more duel left. We're getting it brought up. Not sure who it's going to be. I want to see mages go against not rogues and warriors, you know, just to see yeah. how it plays out. Like. That is that's really what's going to screw him over is warlocks, priests. And so we'll see that tomorrow in the Mot Garaz. Yep. Um, we didn't get a good, you know, I guess we can look at the other mages and check out their duels. Uh, but we didn't get a good look at how that plays out. Well, Soda Poppin, you mentioned Mot Garaz. And that's really why we're all here. All right. These duels have been fun to watch. Mm. These qualifiers have been fantastic. But we came here to see duels to the death. And the final duel of today is going to be a rogue mirror match between Shobek and Rascal. But they have both engaged in a gentleman's agreement where they've decided that it will be a Makara duel to the death. Here we go. Here we the go. Winner, the uh. winner makes it as the eighth seed. In the finals tomorrow, the loser loses everything. How cool! Here's the juice. Yes. Here's the juice. This is it, dude. Final duel of the day, Mock Garaw. This is it. This is a qualifier. Whoever wins moves on. Whoever loses, their entire existence is meaningless. So they might as well be dead. So they're doing a Mock Garaw as they walk out into the battlefield. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's Huge. rad. Massive shout out to that. both of these players to agree to something like that. That's just cool sportsmanship. I, That's yeah. just exciting. I, I can't I, wait. One of these players I, will be dead shortly. I, I already know who's dead on my screen. I'm look at this gear diff. This is disgusting. <laughs> this might be an execution. Yeah, and this will be every single duel tomorrow will be a mock garage. Today, the whole point of today was to qualify to see who was even worthy of stepping into the arena tomorrow. Uh, duel starting, running in. Oil of Immolation drank. He's trying to proc him out of stealth with it. With That's a pretty good too. Tech. That was smart. Yeah. It just, I can't believe he didn't get him. There it goes. Shobek gets, gets the opener onto Roscoe. Ooh. There's the big cheap shot. Probably the gouge oh. into the kitty to follow. He oh, he's he he role playing. He <laughs> oh my gosh, he's role playing. And he, it broke, so he doesn't get the kidney quite yet. That's a little unfortunate. Now they're both that, in stealth. Uh -oh. Both, both my man's trying to make a TikTok. <laughs> Both rogues have been instructed to move towards the dual flag when they're in stealth. So the rogues are trying to Ooh, make their way there. And show back its <laughs> opener number two with oh, the cold no. the RP walk. <laughs> the cold be a slash <laughs> My man the RPs when he wants to. <laughs> oh, the cheap shot into the kidney. It's going to be all over. So much damage connecting and lights out for Roscoe. Well, not yet. Another, Another bow. bow. There it is. Rasco. Good sport. Good sportsmanship <laughs> here. Incredible job <laughs> by Shobek. Unbelievable finish. Aww, to the I love this guy. round of the OTK Starforge Mock Garat tournament. Unbelievable turnout today. People have been 
on the edge of their seats from start to finish. And I cannot wait to see what the finalists do tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Every single duel is going to be a mock gras. Everybody one. but one player who competed today will be playing in their final duel. We'll be fighting their final duel tomorrow. It's, so it's, it's, gonna it's be... crazy to think about. Only one character in the entire tournament will be alive tomorrow. That Only is nuts. one. Yes, it's going to be absolutely <sighs> incredible. The start time tomorrow is going to get pushed to 12 noon. So uh, start's going to be a little bit later than it was today. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be good, man. Zaryu, we'll see you tomorrow. Chance, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for, for coming on, guys. This has been a right. phenomenal, phenomenal event so far. GG's, well done. GG's, and thanks for having all me, right. guys. Uh, all the people that are participating, I know you're watching the stream. Good luck. Try to get some sleep tonight. And see you tomorrow. Good luck, guys. Yeah. It all comes down to this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, frick.